Hello everyone and welcome to AutoCAD 2023. My name is Cameron McKenzie. I am an applications engineer here at Man & Machine and today we're going to have a look at the markup input to import tool. Uh, so for those of you that aren't aware of it yet, uh, what we can do with the import, the markup import tool is we can take markups on physical documents, whether they be on paper um, or any other format, uh, we can take an image of it and bring those markups into, into AutoCAD. So really great functionality that uh, AutoCAD have, have brought in. And today we're just going to just take everybody through the, the workflow of how we can get from our paper space, our physical paper markups into, into AutoCAD. So what I've done is I've taken a printed copy of this layout uh, and just done some um, some quick markups on there in some red pen. It seems to work best with red pen. Um, a few other colors will work as well, but but predominantly red pen does the trick on this. So essentially what I've done is I've taken this exact layout, printed it off, made a few notes on it. And uh, you can see this here in, in the uh, PDF reader. I've then taken a scan of that um, this can be a, a, just an image or it can be a, a PDF scan of the item. I send it to myself and I'm now going to push this straight into, into AutoCAD. So here's the PDF that I've got available to me and I'll show you the other formats that we can import in as well. So as I say, we're in AutoCAD 23, got a new icon down here at the bottom for, for those of you that haven't seen it yet. And essentially it's just a case of coming into our markup import tool and then choosing the uh, the document that we want to import. So you can see the, the markup drawings that we can import are PDFs, JPEGs, and PNGs. So we've got those three, four formats that we can bring in from. And I'm just going to select the scanned document from my downloads folder. We can see the preview that's available to us there. As soon as I hit open on here, it will then start to assess the file that I'm bringing in. Uh, AutoCAD will then use some computer learning uh, to bring in all of the information um, that's, that's inside of that document and, and try to assess as to where this document needs to fit in within my drawing um, and also what information will be on that as well. So I'm just going to go in with the, with the default placement. We've got the ability, if we needed to, to move our placement of, of the uh, image of the PDF around whether we wanted to align this up, rotate, scale, um, and so forth. But uh, just for the sake of this one, I'm going to go straight with the uh, with the accepted placement or the, the, the default placement of it. You can see it's, it's not quite aligned, um, but I think for, for what it needs to do, um, it's, it's pretty, pretty bang on. Once we've got this here, we can still come in and, and adjust its positioning. So I can, you can see we've got our grip point right here in the middle where we can move and rotate. We've got our grip points on the side where we can start to scale the image as well. Um, but again, I'm not going to do any tweaks to that. We have got the ability to do so as well. We can also come in and change the trace settings. So this now begins to work like the uh, the trace palettes that, that we are familiar with with previous deployments of um, or previous versions of AutoCAD, uh, we can come in and, and choose the transparency of this trace plane, essentially of this trace image, um, so that we can start to see more or less of our actual drawing in the background. Um, so you can come in and adjust that just if you wanted to find the exact positioning of this within your within your drawing. Um, again, happy with its default uh, placement. Once we are happy with this, um, once we've got our positioning correct, we can then toggle this little button over here, which allows us to either edit the trace, which we're currently in, or view the trace itself. So I'm going to go in and view the trace. Um, and once I'm in the view trace option, we've got an extra uh, option available to us, which is this markup assist mode. And this is where the intelligence of this new product or this new feature comes into its own. Um, essentially what it will do is it'll take in any uh, information that's that's on the the drawing or the image that I've just brought in, whether it be some text or whether it be some geometry, and start to interpret that and, and start to give us um, some information that we can now 
push straight onto our drawing. So I'm going to start off here in the top left corner. Um, you can see how it's given me this little blue box around the text of split room. I can now with the markup assist uh, turned on, actually click on the text itself on the border and you can see it's given me an indication of what it thinks needs to be in there. So if I say I want to insert this as a M leader, you can see it's already picked up quite well that this is a split room um, in the note. So it wants to add in split room into the note as a leader. I could just add this in as text or I could copy the text to my clipboard. I know this is going to be a leader, so I'm going to pick leader and it wants to know once it picks it up. It wants to know then where I'm going to be placing the um, the arrowhead for my leader. So I'm going to place it down here somewhere and just bring this off to the side and place it there. This is going to pick up based on the layer that you're currently using. So if you are using a markup layer, it will turn whichever color that your markup layer is on. Um, mine is red. Um, and yeah, it'll pick up the scaling and all of that of your your mark your leaders as well. So if you have, if you had a specific style, it would automatically default to that. And for those of you that are familiar with AutoCAD, you've always got the ability to to adjust that as well if you needed to. Um, the other one we've got is the uh, the actual revision cloud down here at the bottom. Um, it clearly hasn't picked up the one here at the top left as well as I'd hoped. Uh, but the one down here in the in the middle of the, the drawing, it seems to have picked up fine. So I can click on here. It'll tell me, okay, do I want to insert this as a revision cloud? I can say, yes, I want to. And it'll then create a revision cloud around the area that I've created there. Just see if it's picked up this layers over here. Hasn't picked up the exact wording. Must be just my uh, handwriting is a little bit funny for, for AutoCAD to pick up, but that's okay. I'll just click on here. And you can see I've got the ability to come in and adjust the spelling of any of the layers or any of the layers, any of the uh, the text itself inside of these boxes. So it's completely customizable as well. And if I wanted to come in and add any more text to this, I've got the ability to. I can come in and insert this as a as a multi leader as well, or I can just come in and insert this as multi line text. I can then specify the insertion point. And it'll then have placed that down there. It's a little small, and I think that's just down to the the size of the text. But again, we can come in and adjust that um, as well. It's just down to the the text style that I'm using at the moment. But yeah, it, what you can see is very easily we can come in and bring in any image, whether it be a JPEG, whether it be a, a PDF, and start to get its placement more or less accurate on our drawing and then just place these in right away rather than coming in and, and trying to to do these all manually we've got the ability to to pick these up from a drawing so if you have a client that's that's made a few tweaks maybe they don't have access uh, to a to AutoCAD um, and aren't able to mark up physically maybe it's something that's already been printed off um, and instead of trying to redo the notes inside of AutoCAD you want to then just be able to use a, a trace functionality We've now got the ability to use this markup import tool to be able to add this in. As soon as we're happy with that, we can just hit the little tick box and you can see how it's created these in here. Again, I can probably just adjust the, the size of this text. Uh, see if I come in here and change this text height to something like three. I've got the ability to bring that in. Um, same for this one over here. If I quickly edit the text or edit its positioning over here. and adjust the text there we go uh takes out to something like three as well we've got the ability to quickly come in and, and place those down and you can see with, within a few minutes or a few seconds we've got the ability to to place that in and and add these markups in pretty accurately as well so yeah i hope that's been beneficial to you if you want to see anything else or have any comments please feel free to to drop them in the comments below uh, but other than that see you next time Thank you. Bye.